Off right, what's the matter? You can't do sidewalks? Because you're coming, you're nervous. I know it's a
A Câmara de LOL, eu, o, seu, o seu Dimas não está cá, portanto o Sr. Jorge está aqui connosco. Ele vai introduzir também em inglês. Obrigado a ele por... Ele vinha a fumar, mas não tem outro remédio. Alguém tem que ajudar aqui. Portanto, agradecemos a todas as organizações e eu vou passar a palavra aqui ao Sr. Jorge Oliveira e depois ele vai apresentar uma para uma. Caros amigos e amigas portugueses em geral, bem-vindos ao Sir Hall da Cidade de LOL para comemorarmos o Dia de Portugal Camões das Comunidades. São três distintos nomes que nos levam aqui com o coração cheio de saudade da nossa terra natal. Portugal é um país pequeno, mas grande em heróis. Camões foi o poeta dos poetas. E as comunidades somos todos nós, não quer que venham aqui emigrar dos Estados Unidos da América. Vamos iniciar aqui a cerimónia chamando aqui ao, ao microfone o, a, o meia da cidade de Lowell, o Mr. Willem Samaras. Councilor Rita Mercia, <laughs> Councilor Rodney Elliott, <laughs> Councilor Edward Kennedy, <laughs> Councilor Karen Cirillo, <laughs> and a uh, school committee person, uh, Don McLean. <laughs> and we have Lori Trahan Larrero, former student of mine, running for Congress. Now, I'm very happy to be mayor, but I was also very happy to be headmaster of Lowell High School. Laurie was typical of the great students I had. Okay, good afternoon and welcome everyone. We come together today as a community to raise the flag of Portugal and commemorate the Portugal Day. Although we gather here on, June, on the 9th of June, tomorrow, June 10th, is a day of great significance in the Portuguese community. Portugal, it, Portugal Day. Portugal Day is Portugal's national holiday in regard to the death of national literary icon Louis de Camote on June 10, 1580. Camote, Mayor, a proclamation. Whereas the month of June is the time to celebrate the rich contribution members of the Portuguese community have made to the city below us, culturally, politically, socially, and economically. Today we celebrate Portugal Day, and whereas Portugal Day commemorates the death of Louis de Camoche, best known for his writing of Luciadas, the Portuguese national epic poem, celebrating the brave Portuguese explorers of the 16th century. It's an honor and a pleasure to be here with you as we raise the flag of your nation with the American flag. I want to say this, you certainly know how to bring beauty to City Hall, I'll tell you that. And you do it in style, too. I love your vehicles. You do such a great job, and thank you for sharing everything that you do with us. Your culture, your, your history, your band, your, your food, everything that you do, you share with the city. So we're very, very rich in the city, not financially, but in ethnic diversity. So you're a great part of it. You bring your children, you bring your families, you bring the Portuguese American veterans. Thank you very much for sharing. I'm, I'm honored to be here with you. God bless you, God bless Portugal, and God bless the United States. Thank you so much. Great to be here. The Portuguese people know how to do it. I'm not Portuguese, but my wife is Portuguese. That means my kids are Portuguese. So today I'm Portuguese. And you know how to do it right. We started with the, uh, we started with the mass and uh, the procession for the Lady of Fatima, and then a wonderful meal at a Holy Ghost Society. It's not just today. Portuguese people do it all month. So thank you very much. Obrigado. To 
have these flag, flag raisings in the afternoon instead of in the morning, because there's a big crowd here today for this. I just want to echo the words of the mayor. Um, I think one of the things, or one of the things that we're proud about in Lowell is that we are a diverse community made up of many ethnic groups, and certainly one of the longest-standing ethnic groups, and one of the most prominent, and one that we're most proud of is the Portuguese community. So I just want to uh, wish you all the best today. Congratulations, and enjoy the rest of the weekend. Thank you. Continuar com isso para a frente e não se pode dar todos, mas como todos sabem, tanto faz a Trindade, o Espírito Santo como da igreja, com cinco ou seis que foram incansáveis, e o primeiro vou dizer o nome, que é o Steve Mendonça, por excelente trabalho, e a Marisa, e mais outros que ajudaram também, mas eles merecem uma grande salva de pelo trabalho que eles fizeram para, para amanhã. E talvez a nossa comunidade nunca esteja tão bem representada como vai estar este ano, já digo que ao Presidente da República em Boston, já temos oito passos, como todos sabem, e o trabalho de todos eles é que merecem só. Eu gostava de chamar o Steve aqui, eu acho que eles concordam comigo, para vir receber a proclamação este ano para ele. I had no idea I was going to be getting this. Absolutely no idea whatsoever. I usually, I like to be in the background, to help in the background in any way I can. So this comes as a complete surprise. I have nothing prepared whatsoever. Um, but it's, it's just an honor to be here. I have no idea what to say. <laughs> but thank you, to, thank you to everyone that makes all these things possible. Each one of us, we are all brothers and sisters uh, as Portuguese members of our, of our culture. And together we can make these traditions continue on into the future. Um, so we need to always work together Sometimes you know, we get stressed out, you know, but we have to work together um, and, and lift each other up and not bring each other down. So um, continue to do that and we'll, we'll continue this um, in many years to come. Um, I don't want to name specific names because I'm going to miss names, but I just want to thank um, you know, th those who are helping um, for the Day of Portugal tomorrow in Boston. Um, a lot of people have been putting in a lot of hard work for that. Um, to help represent our culture here in Lowell and bring that to Boston and to show them that here in Lowell we have so much to offer. Uh, we have indeed a little Portugal here in Lowell. Um, so we want to show Boston and all those communities out there that there's a lot to love about Lowell and there's a lot of Portuguese people here in Lowell. So thank you so much. A candidate for Congress for Nick, uh, Nick Place, so I like how you invite her to come over here. She wants to say. Hello, and I'm so honored to be here. Um, I grew up here. I grew up in Lowell. My dad uh, grew up on Katy Street. Um, his father was from Porto. His mom was from Graciosa. I think we've waited long enough to send a Portuguese American down to Congress, don't you think? I'd be honored to, I would be honored to represent all of you. Thank you so much for being here. I look forward to being in Boston with all of you tomorrow and celebrating our culture throughout the month. So, obrigada. First of all, thank you very much, Mayor and all the City Council here in Lowell to be present on this occasion for the day of Portugal, the day of the Portuguese language, and special the day of the Portuguese communities. Et facto, yes, a grand round of applause for the Portuguese communities. The Portuguese communities here in Lowell, a comunidade portuguesa aqui de Lowell, eu nunca esqueço que festeja sempre o 10 de junho no próprio dia 10, rain or shine, always on June 10. E eu, enquanto aqui estive, vim sempre com muito gosto. E desta vez, porque amanhã, o dia 10 de junho, é um dia tão especial com a vinda do Presidente da República, do Primeiro-Ministro, do Presidente do Governo Regional dos Açores, com uma comitiva muito grande que vem das comemorações do 10 de junho amanhã em Ponta Delgada dos Açores, diretamente para Boston, decidiu mudar 
para o dia 9 e festejar nesta tarde aqui para também amanhã festejar em Boston com uma grande delegação que eu sei que vai estar, são muitos autocarros, são muitas pessoas envolvidas e portanto antes de mais um muito obrigado, bem ajam para o grande dia que vamos ter amanhã em Boston. Muito obrigado mesmo. Muito obrigado, boa tarde a todos. Uh, em primeiro lugar eu gostava de só que desejar aqui um, uma grande salva de palmas para o trabalho feito pelo Dr. José Rui Caroço, o nosso cônsul geral em Portugal, em Boston. Ele tem sido incansável nestes últimos cinco anos, o trabalho que tem feito em Boston, as dificuldades que teve e conseguiu ultrapassar. Ele merece esta grande salva de palmas. Now, uh, Mr. Caroso is living his position in Boston. He did a great job these past five years. Um, we are amazing. The, the work he has done at the consulate with many difficulties and was able to um, superate all of that. And now that he's really integrated and doing these festivities. As always, as many years before, here we are. And again, look at this beauty, princes and queens, and also this as to continue, and we are sure that this continuing, like workers still in our associations, in our clubs, but also we need to think where we are in our, in our city and connect to everybody. We need to connect, not disconnect. We need to stay together in order to make this great event and even bigger. We are doing this hard work in your associations, your, in your clubs. A big round of applause for you too. Very proud to be Portuguese. Viva a comunidade portuguesa. Viva Lowell. Viva Portugal. Muito obrigado. Temos que dar pessoal novo. Ana Silva está aqui connosco, como vocês já viram, vai cantar os hinos com a banda. Mas eu gostava de ter uma salva de palmas primeiro para este casalinho pequenino. Para a, sete... a minha simpatia. Que é a rainha e a dama da São João. E, e agora tem que ser também a Miss Loreto para este ano de 2018. E como vocês sabem, a ti, a que nós convidávamos sempre uma, a, uma rainha ou uma princesa, a que fosse mais, mais idade. E este ano calhou. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Jessica da Silva and I am Miss Loreto of 2017. As we gather here today as one community, celebrating a very special holiday for us all, we must understand the background to this day. Portugal Day is known as Dia de Camões, which commemorates the death of Senhor Luís de Camões on June 10, 1580. Normally, national holidays are celebrated on the date of birth of a specific person. Unfortunately, Senhor Camões' date of birth was unknown, thus leading us to celebrate his date of death. This day is officially celebrated in Portugal but Portuguese people celebrate this day across the world. Senhor Camões wrote a poem by the name of Os Luciadas in 1572, which was written with inspiration of Vasco de Gama's uh, discovery of the sea route to India. Studies have shown that in the year that Mr. Camões died, Portugal lost its independence to Spain. Over 60 years after, finally, Portugal regained its independence. We are gathered here today, all with great pride of being Portuguese. I myself am extremely prideful of the people that I come from, coming to America to, and having nothing, and having to start a new life, but also making the best out of it, with hard work, dedication, and support from their loved ones that they have. With all said, I hope everyone continues on with these traditions, with celebrating this holiday with family, friends, and children. Viva Senhor Camões, viva Portugal! Viva! Na Península Ibérica, que voltou os cortes à Europa e seu povo lançou-se nos mares nunca antes navegados, descobrindo outros países espalhados pelo mundo. Portugal é um país pequeno em território, mas muito grande com um povo destemido e heroico. 
há um ditado muito antigo que diz Deus está em todo o mundo, mas quando lá chegou havia um português. Onde está um português, ali também é Portugal. Portugal tem 550 km de comprimento, 220 km de largura, 11 ilhas no meio do Atlântico e é o país mais bonito do mundo. Luís Vaz de Camões é o poeta dos poetas, o homem que escreveu os Lusíades, que escreveu o presente e o futuro, que veio pobre, foi preso e expulso a sua pátria, mas nunca deixou de escrever o que sentia no seu coração. Era filho de Simão Vaz de Camões e de Ana de Sá. Deve ter nascido em 1524 ou 1525, provavelmente em Lisboa. Terá estado em Ceuta, onde perdeu um olho. Em 1553 partiu para a Índia, em 1567 foi para a ilha de Moçambique e em 1569 regressou a Portugal. Alcançou a publicação dos Lusíades. Parece ter morrido em 10 de junho de 1580. O túmulo com os despojos de venerados, como se fossem do poeta, encontra-se no mosteiro dos Jerónimos, em Lisboa. Francisco Bruno, um músico distinto que... E além disso é fundador da banda de Vinho Espírito Santo também. Infelizmente ele não pode estar aqui connosco, só eu vou chamar o presidente da banda, o Sr. João, João Melo, para vir cá receber por ele. Com a banda, na próxima vez que eu esteja junto com ele. O Heron, em nome da banda. Thank you to everyone here, and I don't know. Thank you very much. I'm glad to be up here. Well, uh, in name of the band, uh, uh, United States House of Representatives, particularly a special congressional recognition presented to the Portuguese American community at a greater level. Thank you. Então a banda pode se Irás do mar na prepovo, na São Valente Imortal, levantou-te de novo o esplendor de Portugal. Entre as brumas da memória, a pátria sente-se a voz dos teus igrejos avós, que há de guiar-te a vitória. As almas, as almas, sobre a terra, sobre o mar. Stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight or the ramparts we watch or so gallantly streaming of the rocket with the that's bursting Oh! 
Lorin. <laughs> for everybody. And I hope they bring Lorin to the Congress, no? I hope so. So we can have some, some Portuguese blood up there. Thank you very much.